Welcome back to Front Row, a turning point. The coronavirus pandemic has had a side effect of reopening some old wounds in America. And perhaps nowhere is this more apparent than in healthcare, especially when it comes to the vaccine. Our country has more than a checkered past when it comes to medical care for black and brown people. Leon Bibb shines a light on these issues and why this time it's different. A pandemic which is all consuming. Complicating this crisis is another one fueled by distrust of medical systems and of the government. In the U.S., black people are four times more likely to be hospitalized from COVID, three times more likely to die from it. Still, in some black and brown communities, there is a hesitancy about the vaccine. Certainly there is a, a lack of trust. Dr. Lee Kirksey, vascular surgeon at Cleveland Clinic, is troubled by the lack of trust among some for the COVID vaccine. But he is aware distrust of what the government says about the vaccine stems from an old problem with ancient roots. Going back 400 years, you know, to slave times and these experiences that have been passed down through generational. And we talk about the United uh, States Healthcare Tuskegee experiment. The Tuskegee syphilis experiment was a U.S. government clinical study between 1932 and 1972. Studied with syphilis and its effects, if not treated, Deceived into the study were poor black sharecroppers told for their participation they would receive free government health care. The poor black men were never told they in fact had syphilis and were never treated for it even when a cure had been found. When the unethical federal government abuse was uncovered, there came an apology. But it was too late to save most of the 399 black men who had died. Distrust of government grew. Generations later, it is the government proclaiming COVID vaccine as safe, but some remain suspicious. So there is a push for acceptance of the vaccine to end the pandemic. These vaccines that we have available under emergency use authorization, they're 90 to 95 percent effective. Community leaders among black and brown populations are publicly taking vaccine shots, encouraging all people to do the same. Wherever you can get the vaccine, get it. The protection of your life and those around you depends on it. And it's not going to be painful at all. Now a personal note. When it was my time to take the vaccine shot, I took it. Pharmacist Ed Saxon of the discount drug mart chain and I spoke of the emergency the world was in and how people of all races and backgrounds have to trust the vaccine. Earlier this month, the CDC reported only about 6% of the vaccinations are to blacks, as compared to 60% to the non-Hispanic whites. The Biden administration is campaigning to encourage skeptics to believe the science and receive the vaccine. But still, there are real health care disparities. In many instances, blacks have less access to computers to sign up for vaccination centers in far distant places. Also, there are other reasons. Health disparities existed before COVID. The virus worsened a long-standing problem. So society must work to erase the disparities, while at the same time address vaccine skepticism in this virus crisis, and in the long run, as well. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bill.